feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of a cold. If you can hear it, I apologize. I don't know where I got sick from, but I have a cold. I just noticed my calendar is still in October. Okay, we are really winning at life. It is November 7th, I think. Let me see. No, it's the 8th. Yes, November 8th. Um, today we're doing Get Ready With Me, or kind of, I don't know if I'm gonna do it more like Get Ready With Me style or more tutorial style. I guess I'm just gonna like see how I feel as it goes. Also, I think, so I've been like really, I really used, I used to film in front of this window and it was like perfect lighting. I love natural lighting. Right now I'm filming in front of my like impressions vanity mirror. So it's giving like artificial light. But I had a replacement bulb in there that was yellow toned. It didn't match the rest of the bulbs because I thought that it was. So this, this is what the replacement bulb looks like. Um, and I thought it was the same one. Like I brought, I brought my, like one of the light bulbs in and they gave me this. And this is very warm toned. So I think that was what was throwing the lighting off. Because I think we look pretty neutral now. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to pin my hair back. I don't want to throw this bulb out, but... That's how my day is going. Okay? Alright, it's out of my face. I'm going to put some chapstick on my lips because... I don't know, when I'm sick, everything kind of gets disgusting, so... I've been loving this raw sugar natural lip balm. I picked it up from Target. It came with like a little lip exfoliator, which I don't really like because it's too, uh, I don't know, there's not enough grit to it for the oh, for the exfoliator. But So today I just have to film a couple of videos. I want to film a favorites video for you. Even though those videos don't do the best, I still like to do them because um, they're fun. Like I love rewatching them and like what was my favorite you know and I love watching favorites videos because then it gives me ideas of like products that I need or want to get want to get not need but you know want to get I have this red bump on my face right here oh my god I also have glitter everywhere I I opened up my boxycharm and there was like the cover effects glitter drops in it and I literally have glitter everywhere so I'm gonna use the pores no more luminizer primer by Dr. Brandt I also got my nails done on Tuesday, and I think I told you guys what happened to my pinky nail. There's literally no nail on there. Ew. There's literally, like, no nail on it. Um, the nail ripped off. I, like, hit it under a windowsill, and the whole nail ripped off. Um, that was, like, almost a month ago, though, but my nail... She tried to put an acrylic on top of it, and I can't. Like, I can't. It hurts too much, because there's nothing for the acrylic to hold on to. Uh, so, I'm just going to be nailless, I guess, for the next few months. Hopefully by next month, there's like enough of my natural nail that grew back to where we can put an acrylic on and it doesn't hurt so bad. So I'm going to be using the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. I'm almost out of this, so I'm like, it has a pump, but I'm literally like scraping the sides to get it on my face. This is in the shade Medium Peach. Charlie's snoring in the background. I don't know. You can't see him because he's behind me. That's Jeter. Oh no, was that him? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I'm just like dotting this all over my face because as I said, I ran out of it. You don't really need too much, so I'm, I think that's definitely enough. I'm actually gonna blend it out with a brush first and then possibly go with a beauty blender. Cause I feel like I can get more coverage with a brush. I feel like the foundation goes further. So does anyone have any Thanksgiving plans? Anything fun, like hosting your own Thanksgiving or anything like that? I remember when I hosted my first holiday ever, which was Easter last year. It was so fun, but I was so stressed. <laughs> so now I have like a whole new appreciation for people who host holidays. It was so much fun. I loved it. And I loved, I like made a centerpiece for my table, multiple centerpieces. Like it was so fun, but it was definitely stressful because like you're in charge of everything. Food, drinks, everything. <laughs> I hate these little red spots I get. My mom gets them too. She calls them aggravation bumps. I don't know what they are. <laughs> they just happen randomly, like little red dots. So I think I'm gonna do a smoky eye today. I um in my last Poshmark video I had a smoky eye on and a lot of you guys liked the look. Um so I think I'm gonna recreate that. 
Now I'm just going over with the B Blender to get any brush marks out. I need to buy another Tarte Shape Tape too. I'm all out of mine. I'm trying to wait and see if they have it on like, um, you know, their 21 Days Beauty or whatever for Christmas or uh, any like Good Black Friday deals because I definitely need a new one. This is a little bit dark for me right now. I'm just noticing my skin is finally, I think the tan is basically gone. I still have some of the discoloration in my chest, but. Okay, to brighten, I'm using Urban Decay Naked Skin. I really don't like this concealer. I'm just trying to use it up because I feel like it's too thin. Like it's not enough coverage for me. I don't know. Like I feel like the second you go to blend it out, it loses its coverage, which I cannot stand. And I think I did like this at one point before Tarte Shape Tape came out, but still. I'm putting a little extra powder on so that I can catch any fallout from the shadows since we're using dark colors. I don't want to get any fallout on my face. I actually want to go pick up another Bare Minerals foundation that matches like my everyday, well, my like winter color because it really was a good foundation for every day. It was so easy to apply. You just literally did this. I'm using the brush. You literally just like buffed it on and you looked perfected. So I kind of do want to, maybe I'll do that today. Just kidding. I have so much to do today, but I want to go pick it up. It's so pretty. Also, like it's good for like when you don't want to wear makeup, but you just, I don't know. Like for me, I like to just be able to like dust something on my face and like it look a little bit better than if I didn't do it. And with the Bare Minerals, you can literally just do that. Like buff it all over your face and then you look better than with nothing like you just look a little bit more put together so I, I recently just saw the movie a star is born did anybody see that it's so sad it's such a good movie but it's so sad like it's such a good love story but but so sad it was so the, just the ending i'm not gonna ruin it for you guys but it was a really good movie that was just my wet and wild pro concealer palette in Jolte de leche to bronze um, I want to go back to my Tarte Park Ave Princess. I really loved that bronzer. I want to go back to some, like, my old favorites. Um, I also recently saw a comment about my eyebrows, how they don't look like they're filled in enough. That's how I like to do them. If you like to do your eyebrows differently, then go ahead. I just don't like the way it looks. I like when my eyebrows still look natural and, like, there's spots missing and it's just sparse and natural. I just like my eyebrow like that, so... Um, if you like your eyebrows differently, then go ahead and do that. I just, this is how I like them, so that's how I'm going to wear them. Um, but I also saw that someone asked if the Brow Gal palette was the number two, and it is. It's zero two for the Brow Gal powders. Okay, so I recently bought some eyelashes off of Amazon. I already talked about this in a vlog, but they're so beautiful. I'm going to be using them today, but anyways, I figured I would mention them because I just saw them, but they're so pretty. When I took my eyelash extensions off, I was buying the, uh, who are they? What are they? The Mykonos Lash? I can't remember who it's by. Oh my god, why am I drawing a blank? Who is this by? I have to look it up. I can, like, see her face in my head. Lily Lashes, that's who it is. Okay. <laughs> Mykonos Lash by Lily Lashes and they're really pretty but they're so expensive they're like almost $30 a pair and these ones I think were $14 for five pairs so it evens out to be like $3 a pair so I thought that was really good um okay so what I did was I used um the Tarte Lit in Bloom palette and just the bottom three colors right here which are Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader. And then I used a black shadow too, but this palette doesn't have a black, so. Um, yeah, this is so different for me. I don't usually do like smoky looks, but I was feeling it and I did it and I don't hate it. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna zoom you in. All right, so first I'm gonna take Sweetheart, which is kind of like a light mauve color. That's for the crease. When I do smoky eyes, I still like to keep the inner half of my eyelid bright. So like I like to keep all the smoke and, you know, dark colors towards the outer portion of my eye just because I like to make my eyes look as big as possible. This this look is all about like building color. Um, this is just a clean brush I'm just using to really make sure this is 
blended. But the next color I'm going to use is Rebel, which is, again, like a nice, darker, chocolatey, warm <laughs> color. And this is going to go kind of in the same place, but a little bit lower on the crease. Almost more on the eyelid, the top of it. And kind of starting to build like that V shape with the shadow. Just making sure that both are even. I always, I really am like anal about that. Like really trying to make sure that both eyes are even in like color and intensity. Okay. The next shade we're going to use is Leader, which is the darkest color in that little quad. Even though I broke Funny Girl. I dropped my palette and that was like gone. Okay, and this one is going to go basically the same place, still on the outer V area, kind of closer to the lash line, and up. And take a little bit more and put it on the outer third of the eye. Start blending that. That's all I'm going to use for the Tartlet and Bloom. Now I'm going to jump into my Sephora Pro palette. I love this palette. I highly recommend anybody who like loves makeup um, or if you're like a freelance makeup artist, this is perfect for bridal or anything. It just has like the perfect warm neutral shades. In this palette, I'm going to be using the black and kind of like a warmer brown to put in the crease. I love a crease. <laughs> um, this one right down here and just bring a little warmth in. All right, now for my lid color, I'm gonna use these light like skin tone shades in the palette and just focus these um, on the inner third. And now I'm gonna put the black. I'm taking any matte black that you have, I'm just using this one. And I'm just gonna put this again on the outer third. Like it's literally all just blending shadows, but this is like, the last step and you're gonna blend that obviously but I'm just kind of stamping it there first and then I'm gonna grab on the same brush that had the black I'm gonna wipe it off and grab a little bit more of leader from Tartlet and Bloom again that's this color right here and just start to blend them Now, you could do a wing liner if you want to. I'm not a wing liner girl, so I don't love a wing liner. But you can feel free to do that. I'm going to pop on some lashes. Okay, these are the lashes I was talking about. They're so beautiful. There's, these are from Amazon again. They're in the style A10. I'll have them listed in the down bar down below in case you're interested in them. But just because they're so beautiful. Like, you can't find these in Target or CVS. Like, these are beautiful. Um... And they were, again, $14, 14 or $15 for five pairs. So they're pretty good. I've only worn one pair so far. And they lasted me over a week, and I wore them every single day. So they're really nice. Good quality. I'm just going to have to cut mine down. I always I always do, just because my, my eyes are smaller. So I always cut, like, maybe two bundles, two little, like, you know, things <laughs> off the end. Okay, so those are what the lashes look like on. They're so just like pretty and wispy, but you can still see my eye. Um, sometimes with like a more dramatic lash, you lose your eyelid. At least I do since I have like a hooded lid. Uh, with these, you can still see your eyeshadow, you can still see your eyelid, but you get great like girly, flirty definition. So I love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add some nude eyeliner to my waterline. Rimmel Scandalized. Alrighty, and then for blush, using Max Lovejoy, which is, I think it's a, yeah, mineralized blush, but it has a lot of, like, pretty gold shimmer in it. And then as far as lips, um, I'm using the NYX Laundry Lipstick in Lace Detail, and then I'm putting a gloss on top just because my lips are really dry. I'm going to line my lips with NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. This lipstick is like, 
I don't know. I don't love the formula. It's super patchy and like thin, but feels thick. It's the weirdest thing. Like it's thin as far as opacity, but it's very thick as far as like feeling on your lips and like drying. I'm also thinking about getting some like shelves for this wall right here so I can put like a candle, maybe a little plant or something, make a nice little background because it's so plain. <laughs> Just like that and then I what I've been using is the YSL lip oil mine is in the shade these letters are so small um 62L802 it's basically like a nude clear lip oil and I just put it in the center and then to highlight I'm going to take MAC Soft and Gentle and just highlight with this. And then I'll use Mary Luminizer from the Bomb for my nose because I love a nose highlight. I just do. I'm not over it. <laughs> Last step I've been doing lately is just to brighten up underneath my eyes and I use the LA Girl Pro Powder in the banana shade. This is such a good affordable brightening powder. I just take like a dome brush. This is from Wet n Wild. Oh no, this is from Crown. And um, lightly sweep this underneath my eyes. Like that. Alright guys, so that's the finished look. It's very like smoky but still daytime appropriate um, and also kind of like sexy but still again still like daytime appropriate if you want to have like, I don't know, it's not like too much, you know. I'll show you in this light. Alright guys, but I'm going to end the video here. I love you guys all so much. I hope you enjoyed this smoky, smoky <laughs> um, eye look and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.